What's up people, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at another portable power station. This one is by All Powers. So let's just jump right into it. All right guys, so I went ahead and took everything out of the box. This is everything that's gonna come with your All Powers. This is the S2000 portable power station. So this is a pretty good size power station. I ended up using this to power an off-grid cabin for about three to four days on my previous trip and this thing worked out extremely well over here you're gonna get your nice little carry case you're gonna get all your cables so they got a 12 volt so this 12 volts gonna be used to charge your power station from your vehicle you got your AC cord here so this cable here is gonna be to charge via a solar panel and all powers also do have solar panels that you can buy comboed with a power station or just separately so that's pretty much it inside of the carry case here as you guys can see here they also provide you with a storage bag for your portable power station built really well it doesn't have handles on it to be able to carry your station but other than that, it is pretty nice. You got the zipper on the side there, and then there it is, guys. There's the power station. All right, guys, so let's take a closer look at this All Powers S2000. As you guys can see right there at the top, you got your AC outputs there. You're going to have four outputs. Right there, you got your 12-volt DC output there. Below that, you got USB-C, you got two of them there. And then below that, you got four USB-A's. Got your nice digital display there. Gives you all the information that you need. Below that, you got a connectivity button there for Bluetooth because this does have an app that works with it. You got your AC button there to turn your AC on and off. And then you got your DC there to turn your DC on and off. Right next to that, you got an XT60 input. This is gonna be used with a solar panel or the 12 volt plug that I showed you guys earlier. You guys can see right on the top there, it's got handles on both sides. On the back there, you got your AC input for charging. And as you come around to the other side, you got a fan on this side, also for cooling. You can power up to 11 devices at one time, so you pretty much can use all four AC outlets, your USB-Cs, USB-As, and also your 12 volt there, and it will power all your devices at one time, which is nice. Now, like I said earlier, I did take this up to my cabin. I got a one bedroom cabin up north, pretty simple, but I got a microwave, I got a toaster oven, lighting obviously in there, a mini fridge, TV, and this thing had no problem running all those devices. I'll show you a clip of me testing this out at the cabin right here. All right guys, so one of the tests I wanna do here is I got a microwave. We're gonna go ahead and see if this power station will run it. So we'll go ahead and plug it in here. Got the AC turned on. Right now it's at 29%. I've been using this for the past 24 hours to run my cabin and so far so good but we're gonna go ahead turn this on so as you guys can see it's powering it fan kicked on for the power station I don't know if you can hear that you can see the icon down there but right now we're doing about 820 watts out so, doing a good job running the microwave, so that's nice. Now you can hear the fan kick on. Now it just kicked off. Another item we use a lot is this toaster oven. And you guys know these toaster ovens pull a lot of power. So we're gonna plug this up and we're gonna try it out, see if it works. So as you guys can see, it's on. And we're pulling 1200 watts, so a little bit more than the microwave. Seems to be holding it steady. Right around 1200 watts. Wait to see if these coils get red. 
And as you guys can see there, the coils are bright red. So that seems to be functioning perfectly fine. All right guys, so as you can see in the previous footage I showed you, the All Powers Portable Power Station did a great job of running the cabin off grid. But I wanted to come home and do some more extensive testing on what this could power at the same time. So down here, I've got a portable refrigerator. I'm gonna hook that up. I got a fan back there, Ryobi fan that plugs in. I got an air fryer, I got a toaster. I'm gonna have a tablet and then my phone. We're gonna go ahead and one by one, we'll plug in each one of these devices to see how well this portable power station runs them. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and plug in our cell phone and tablet. And as you guys can see there, it does say fast charging. So with the phone hooked up, we got about 11 watts. Next, we'll go ahead and connect the tablet here. That went ahead and stepped this up to about 18 watts. Right on the bottom there, it does say that this is fast charging. So we got the two mobile devices charging. Let's go ahead and get into some AC power. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and plug up is a portable refrigerator. So plug that up. Just fire it on. Compressor is on. So as you guys can see, the portable refrigerator is plugged in. Compressor is running and we're at about 40 watts. Next, we'll go ahead and plug in the fan. We'll put the fan on high. So we got the fan over there running. On high, and now we're at about 87 watts. So now, we're gonna go ahead and test this toaster and the air fryer there. Go ahead and turn on the toaster first. Turn it all the way up to its highest setting. So we're looking at seven, almost 800 watts. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn on the air fryer. All the way turned up to 400, power on. So right now guys, we're at 2,234 watts and it's holding it as of right now. Now this is a 2,000 watt continuous 4,000 watt peak. But right now it seems to be handling the 2,271 watt output. As you guys can see, both the devices are on. Phones are still charging, tablets still charging. Got the fan on and the mini fridge. Still holding at 2,250 watts. All right guys, so the air fryer is at 10 minutes. We started at 15, so I ran it for five minutes. Toaster and everything's still running. We're at 2,283 watts, 77%. So in five minutes, it dropped from about 100, right around 100% down to 77% running 2,000, on an average, 2,200 and say 50-ish watts. But it's been powering all this stuff for about five minutes now. No issues, no hiccups. Everything's running fine. Toaster's still on high. I had to restart this a couple times. That's been running straight for five minutes. Phones, tablets been charging. Got the refrigerator and then the fan still running good. All right guys, so there you go, the All Powers S2000 Power Station. So right now, All Powers is doing a huge sale on Amazon right now. I'll make sure I put links in the description box below. Along with the discount on the power stations, All Powers is doing a huge discount on their solar panels. They got multiple different sizes. What you see in front of you right now is the 400 watt portable solar panel setup. This solar panel can be set up in less than a minute. And then once positioned, and direct sunlight can charge your portable power station. I'll be posting a separate review on this shortly, so if you guys are interested in that, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. But that's gonna be about it for this one, guys. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, smash that like button. You like what I'm doing on my channel, make sure you subscribe. If you are subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you on the next one.